Nigel Farage gave a performance I will never forget, as I reveal what really went down at Reform UK's late night booze fest. Speaking to Nigel Farage after his show stopping speech yesterday afternoon, I asked the Reform leader whether the party conference was more party or more conference. I asked because the organisers had been at pains in the lead up to the big day to emphasise that the coming jamboree would be, unlike other po faced puritanical parties, fun. Booze was already being sold to punters by the time I arrived at 10am, with warnings that they would not sell more than four drinks to anyone per visit to the bar, doubles counted as two drinks. There were even, beer lanyards, promoted as a way to, say goodbye to juggling your pint and hello to hands free. So come the end of the workday, as members returned to their hotels to get changed, we were instructed to, dress to impress. The anticipation of what the evening would bring was real. The evening was already in full flow when I arrived, the first thing jumping out to me being party goers holding enormous double pints large enough to drown a hedgehog being sold for £17 a pop. The main auditorium that just hours before had been set up to host the main stage and 4,000 seats had been transformed into a glitzy music venue, replete with ear-splitting speakers and a live band many GB viewers may recognise. Bell Spurling, the musical duo behind the 2001 hit, Sven, 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 were on stage, blasting out all the hits including Come On Eileen, I'm Still Standing and Don't Stop Me No. At 9.30pm the man of the moment Nigel Farage himself emerged on stage to all the general whooping and chanting that follows a party leader taking his troops into the political stratosphere. He told the increasingly inebriated crowd, I was asked a few months ago, what should we do on the evening of the conference?